I'm going to show you what you can do with Leap Motion in Windows. Usually uh, Leap Motion has all these applications and stuff, but uh, I'm not going to cover these. I'll just show you how it looks like. Well, the device itself is obviously here, in front of my keyboard, and the primary monitor where it's uh, going to sit. There we go, the circle. See, it's on the video recorder, and pretty good with this, actually. You can uh, move stuff around like this. Oops, uh, I let it go too early. Uh, Let's move it in here, but I can't move it on the other screen. Can even have uh, more fingers in here, uh, so I have to move it with mouse. I'll just get it out of the way. That's all I'm doing right now. But it's pretty cool on YouTube, I have to say. For example, if I have a browser open in here, just click on the YouTube in here. We have the video in here, and if I go on to my channel. It's a bit hard to click on small things, but uh, I'm getting used to it. And if you want to like watch the videos, it's pretty cool for that. It's very easy to click. You can like uh, scroll like with this. Uh, especially hey, <laughs> if you like to do what I like to do, like uh, eat behind the computer. I mean, not on the keyboard, obviously, but on a tray or on a table. Then this is very good, so you don't have to put your greasy fingers on the keyboard or mouse and you can just uh, wave your fingers in the air just uh, scroll with this, I think it's a little bit uh, hard to see on the white surface but I will show you that on a screen recorder in a second this is just to see how I'm moving the, moving my hand and if you like click on something in here uh, I have the flash on on demand so that's how we do this, I'm gonna just disable the sound a little bit or put it a little bit lower, uh, there we go so it's very easy to click on the videos and everything uh, on the YouTube. It's really better than mouse, I have to say. It's very easy to like just go in there and click. And you can also double click with this, like open the folders and stuff. And you can also track and drop, for example, I'll just uh, minimize this. And if I'll take like these, these are my uh, battlefield videos and I can just drag them like in here like this I can also double click which I don't want to do right now uh, and right click is just hold it and let go that's right click and also on the desktop if I just uh, oops, hold it right click and it's adjustable you can like uh, adjust all this stuff this is Nvidia control panel which I just clicked it's a bit uh, difficult to see probably because uh, the white area in the middle of the screen but yeah and close this one. So you can see I'm uh, quite good with this already. It does take a little bit of practice to like uh, get used to this stuff and another issue what I'm having is that's the Google Chrome. It's having problems with Opera browser. Let's just test this out. I don't think I'm logged into YouTube in here. Yeah, actually I am. And Let's see if I click in here that's my channel. Uh, it works pretty well actually right now, but sometimes Opera crashes if I like uh, click on the videos and stuff. Not uh, specifically the YouTube, but it like crashes in general. And again the sound, we want a little bit quieter. And yeah, it's pretty cool to be honest. And I'm resting my hand on the, on the armrest on the chair so as you can see my finger doesn't really shake I can just do this and this and you can pretty clearly see the circle in there so if I go closer it goes smaller and uh, that's the game sound, I'll just stop the video okay just what's going on it's not doing anything there we go and no clicking on the video doesn't work anymore probably YouTube changed something but yeah if I will just minimize this you can see if I go uh, further away the circle is bigger, if I go closer it goes smaller and green means the click and if you hold it then that's how you do it but yeah I will show you the screen recorder, the whole screen, how well you can see this dot in here uh, I don't know if you can I'm gonna actually test this, I'll take just two files and see if I can have two point drag and drop yeah apparently you can't so if I just do this, it doesn't act as two uh, 
two pointers you can just uh, point with two fingers but yeah it doesn't seem to like register two clicks at once maybe there is a fix for it but uh, it's very difficult to hold two fingers in the same place like this or like this and then drag and drop so one is more than enough and here's the device again uh, again this wire doesn't have to be on this side you can like uh, swap it around like this uh, if you like it, like to have it like this and it would automatically detect based on your uh, movement which way your finger comes from so it's not gonna be like reverse it's still gonna be the same that's very good uh, feature however I'm having some issues with the 12 monitors sometimes if I like um, I don't even know what's causing it exactly I think disconnecting the cable from the monitor which I did I was just uh, rearranging some cables then I click on this monitor like that you can see it registers the click but on some reason sometimes it goes on to my other monitor the circle I see on the primary but the clicks register on other monitor that's a very odd bug and I haven't found a fix for it well other than just uh, swapping the monitor cables but if you don't have the monitors uh, using the same cable then that might become a problem so yeah I don't know what's causing it but so far I've uh, managed to fix this by just uh, swapping the HDMI cables on my monitors but enough of this I'll show you the screen recorder of the of this circle area so you can clearly see how it looks like okay here we have the leap motion it it lags a little bit because I'm using the screen recorder uh, I don't know why it does this it's a lot smoother maybe it's just on uh, my screen maybe in the recorder it's smooth but yeah it's lagging visually well in the webcam you saw it wasn't lagging so but yeah if you like uh, go on YouTube you can easily like uh, scroll with this very easy any empty area will do you can click easily on the videos it's very uh, easy to control this okay that sound was a little bit too high but yeah you can like stop this stuff you can like go on to another video again it's very comfortable to uh, use YouTube with this you can just click through them like everywhere click here click there and again the sound is quite loud but yeah I'm just showing how easy it is to scroll through this thing and we also have this in here so I just uh, finished uploading this and getting the minimize buttons and stuff is not that easy there we go that's what I meant see so yeah that's that's what's going on to not restart and don't send the report. Uh, Opera does this a lot and there are some other applications that also do that but other than that it's a pretty cool device to be honest and it works perfectly on uh, Windows and I have two small scripts in here which is uh, touchless on and touchless off these are just uh, patch files as you can see and what they do they just uh, start the leap motion service and start uh, touchless without having to use the airspace uh, I will show you which it looks like airspace is here uh, it's just going to take a moment to uh, it wants to access the internet, yeah go on oh, for Christ's sake and these are all the applications in here otherwise you will have to launch this airspace and then you will have to select this touchless for windows that's what you have to select open it up and then you can use this device and also the leap motion service is constantly running which also means that uh, even if you're not using the leap motion the leap motion controller itself gets pretty hot because the infrared LEDs are constantly on and I think it just wears out the device so if I'm not using it I'll just use this Whoops. I'll just show you what's in there I'm gonna just uh, edit with notepad plus plus it's lagging it's very hard to click but there we go and that's all you have if you can just read this from here 
can just type in these two commands and save it as a .bat file and that's what you need to do it absolutely doesn't matter where you do it in I mean the folders or anything but this has to be correct this one in here to start it see this start where it goes this path has to be correct uh, you can pretty much just copy it off I'll put them in the description so you can just uh, do the same if you don't want to constantly keep your leap motion on and that's how I do this but yeah, other than that it's pretty cool on Windows uh, Whoops. I'm not constantly using it if you're wondering but uh, I do use it for YouTube sometimes and it's pretty handy too don't have to like uh, go near the mouse or anything so yeah here you have it they could improve it a little bit to have like multi clicks and stuff or multi like track but it doesn't so here you have it leap motion on Windows 7